Hook up, hook up. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Listen to that. Woohoo! What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Wally Outdoors. If you guys have watched my uh, prior episodes, last couple episodes, um, not the one just before this one, but the last two before that, I was out to talk fishing. I am going out one more time. I couldn't pass up the day. Probably should have sat in a tree stand deer hunting this morning with the way the weather was, but I'm gonna bring you along with me and do something a little bit different on this one. I'm gonna actually show you how I caught my bait. I'll go through the process of where I, not where exactly I caught it, but how I catch it, what I'm doing, so that you can see how how easy it is to get your own bait for to tog fishing. And then we're gonna hit up uh, the, the first video I did on the salt water hit up that same spot today the wind is absolutely ideal today um, the temperatures are going to be perfect I just couldn't pass up the one more trip for the salt you don't get too many of these days in October slash November uh, and with deer hunting right here I didn't I really didn't want to do this today but I, I just couldn't pass it up so hopefully it's a good day I have a feeling the bites could be really good because it's a tog fishing right now has been super super hot so I'm gonna head back out try to get my limit today that's the goal limit of the tog uh, they up the limit to five fish now it was three the, the first time I went out now it's at five and that's for the remainder of the season so we can't see we get on on five of those and if we catch a couple of nice sea bass in between that's always a plus so stay tuned next time you see me here we'll be getting bait all right we'll see you in a couple minutes I got a couple here but I'm getting started anyway um basically all I'm doing just right here there's the ocean here I got rocks here I'm on the wrong tide for this but just flipping rocks and you'll see here in a minute see them all underneath the rocks you just flip them and pick up your bait hopefully we can get some bigger ones because right now all I've seen is a lot of small ones And they are fast, I'll tell you. There's a couple good ones, guys. When we get them like that, that's what we want. So that's basically it, guys. I'm just, uh, as you see there in the bucket, I'm just gonna flip some more rocks and get enough bait to hopefully last me this, this afternoon and be good to go. So stay tuned, next time you'll see me here, we'll be on the water, using these these crabs. For All right, guys, we're out here, we're on the water. Um, I just got, launched here from the beach and I'm headed out I got the crabs I stopped I didn't get a ton of crabs today it was kind of tough so I stopped and grabbed some more green crabs so I'm gonna give that a whirl too we're gonna kind of switch it up but I I think I got enough Asian crabs to get me through the day I'm just gonna have to see how it goes um, I forgot a crucial important thing here as you guys if you guys have been following my channel you know that uh, I don't remember to take my net and the damn net is in the garage at home. So if I get anything monstrous, it's gonna to be tough. I'm gonna to have to pull them over the top of the kayak here, but hopefully uh, I'm able to handle it and uh, get them all in the boat. We're just gonna to have to see. Hopefully I don't lose any right at the boat here. All right, so stay tuned. I might up the size of my leader just because of that today. And uh, I don't know, we're just gonna to have to see what happens. It is absolutely gorgeous out here today. I'm gonna to show you guys the water here. It is flat flat calm so I'm definitely gonna anchor today once I hopefully if I can hook one or two I'm um, just gonna anchor up and fish uh, just fish from there so I'm on a full tide right now I should be turning um, within the hour here uh, for outgoing so I should have the best part of the tide the last hour here so the incoming in the next couple hours should be really good for the bite so we'll have to see what happens so stay tuned all right oh man Ooh, there's a fish guys I got one feels like a blue fish Oh, it's a small striper, guys. Yeah, first striper on the kayak. Small one, but that's pretty damn cool, man. All right. <laughs> striper on the kayak. There we go, guys. Nice and fat. Look at that belly. He's huge, belly-wise. Not a huge fish, but there we go. It's a nice striper on the kayak. <laughs> My first striper on the kayak, guys. 
Looks good. Feels like a good fish. That's a nice to dog right here, man. Oh yeah. There's a keeper. Absolutely a keeper there. That's a nice one. A nice fish. It's probably close to 16. Oh boy. Ugh. Oh yes, yeah, slimy bugger. Uh, stripe is breaking right here guys to my right or oh, right in front of me here There is a lot of the tog down there right now Oh, this could be a good one guys. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on up here. Oh Yeah, this is a better fish I got that rod bent, man. Oh, yeah. This one's good. Good one. Nice. Big chunk right there, man. Oh, yeah. Whew. <laughs> Let's give this one a quick measure here. This might be my third, third keeper. Oh yeah. You know what? She's close. A little too close to comfort there. So I'm gonna let her go. Beautiful fish, but just a little too close for me to be borderline on that one. There's one. Small one.
these Asian crabs, man, they're eating them up. Anchoring is where it's at. Oh gosh. Well, it feels like a heavier fish there, but they all feel good, man. They fight like crazy, these fish. He's a small, she's too small. I'm throwing her back. Nice fish though, beauty. Let's go. This is a keeper, I think. Yeah. Oh, short. Hard to believe, that's a short. fish what's up guys it is the next day um, I didn't do my outro on the water and there was a very good reason for it I do not any longer have a GoPro um, the hero 7 black edition uh, this next video that I'm gonna put up stay tuned this this next week coming up um, it's gonna be more of like a safety issue kind of video um, I'm not going to go into too much detail other than just telling you I flipped my new kayak. It was inevitable that I was going to do it at some point, but I own this one. I'm very humble as to the reason why it happened. Um, it was pretty bad. Pretty bad. I lost some gear. I lost a lot of, lot of uh, money, so to speak. I lost rods. I lost stuff that I should not have lost. So, pretty interesting. The fishing was good. Um, I wound up with the two Tatog, and they were leashed to the kayak so i didn't lose those i got to take those home but yeah so stay tuned to next week's episode pretty pretty crazy stuff it's uh it's a good way to, to you know from a learning perspective from others that might want to learn um from it too and like i said it's, it's a learning curve for me um i was never in any kind of fear of my like my life or anything like that i always wear my pft especially on the ocean um so i wasn't worried about that but uh I was pretty angry at myself for, for losing the gear and there was really no reason for it. I could have just, uh, could have done one thing to prevent it from happening and I'm going to explain that in the video. So stay tuned for that next week's video. It's going to be pretty interesting. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the few fish that you saw me catch and I did get a couple uh, to talk, take home for the dinner plate. So I think I'm hanging up the kayak for the year. The water's getting colder and uh, it's hunting season. So I got to get out there and do some hunting. My, my buddy's on the wall up there getting lonely, so i got to get out and do some more hunting. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video for what you saw. And uh, like I said, stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be pretty good. I appreciate it. For those of you who haven't subscribed, please think about doing that. Hit that notification bell so you can see my future episodes. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.